Um, one of the other things that was added to the car is got to go back into the setup tab. Um, so there's a boost control valve. And if I go over to outputs here, there's a drop down menu. So I, I had to order the auxiliary harness that came with the Haltech uh, engine management. Or it's because it didn't come with the Haltech engine management. So I ordered, it's just a secondary harness that you plug in into an extra little plug that's on the side of the, uh, on the side of the, um, the EMS. I was drawing a blank for a second. Uh, I'm sweating. It's getting hot. So uh, plug it in there, and then there's there's two different types of outputs that are on the auxiliary harness. There's a regular switched output, which would just be something that turns on and off, and there's another output that's for pulsed. It's for a pulsed output, and that would be for pulse width modulation, which is what controls the uh, things like um, idle air control valves, boost control valves, things like that that have to that need kind of like a, a step. Like a um, look up how PWM works if you want to watch a video on it. It's uh, it's pretty interesting. It's a, it's a really efficient way to use electricity, pretty much. So there's some really good videos, other videos out on it on uh, on YouTube. But it's just varying how uh, how fast something opens and how or how long it stays open with a pulse instead of changing the resistance to it. You know, because that's just uh, you're wasting electricity doing it that way. So using the pulse width modulation. Um, is it's a it's a lot more efficient. It's a lot easier to use. So, um, so I'm back at this same tab where I would enable VTEC, and I have DPO one because that's the that's the wire that I use to run to. It's a ground switched wire. So the other wire that's there's there's two wires on the boost control valve. The other wire just goes to a positive switched ignition source. So uh, when this shorts the ground. With and it's sending all those little pulses that vary in, in length. Um, it's uh, it's going over the right wire. I guess that's where I was going with that. I, I kind of lost my train of thought. I don't know what's going on with me today. Anyway, so I put active state low because it's a it's low impedance. Um, if I go over here to boost control, so it's uh, there. What did I put? Thirty. It's actually supposed to be thirty-three. So this, uh, the frequency that this operates at, that the boost control valve operates at, is 33 hertz, I believe. I'm going to have to look it up again. Um, and right now I have got it set up on uh, closed loop boost control. Um, <clears throat> closed loop. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more fun. You have, you, have, you have like the same boost cap, I guess you could say. <clears throat> but the, uh, uh, it allows the boost control valve to operate more freely I guess um, it'll, it'll allow you to have a lot more boost at lower RPM instead of slowly stepping it up um, so Haltech's got a good video on their closed loop boost control and there's a there's a way to set it up that they recommend setting up they have instructions on how to set it up um, I'm going to talk about the um, how the boost control uses PID a little bit later on which is proportional integral differential um, and that's just there's other that's that'll be kind of a little too complicated for me to explain very well, um, especially today. I don't know what's going on with me today, but um, go check out some. There's some good videos that say how that works, that explain how that works too. So, but for this right now, boost control valve. So that's how I set that up. So I, I just set this to 30 hertz um, control point offset. I mean, this is the default that it was at, um, and then I have it on closed loop. You can put it on open loop if you want and set it up that way. But closed loop is a lot better. To uh, or you, I guess you could put it on open loop if you want and have your tuner set it up. Just tell them, hey, you, I want it set up for closed loop boost control, and uh, they should know how. Um, let's see, 